Hello everyone, and welcome to the Sick News Network, and welcome back to school. Today is Monday, February 4th. Let's get right to the weather. For your weather forecast, the weather today looks cold, gloomy, and gray. Plus, it looks like it will be raining all week, but it may change, so stay tuned for that. But the lows will be a lot higher this week than last week. Starting with today, the low is at 53 degrees. Be sure to stay warm and safe, Bulldogs. That's all for your weather. Now for your lunchtime meetings. What have we got for lunchtime meetings? Well, this week, Early Hall will be south. There will be no meeting Monday. Tuesday, we will have FCA Bible Study. Wednesday, we will have NIC. And Thursday, will be Stuco. Friday, will be FCA as usual. And now for our current school announcements. What info have we got for our seniors? Seniors, we have your balances for what you still owe to Justin's in the office. Please stop by and check on what you owe. You can pay online at thegraduationcenter.com. Also, seniors, don't forget to get your senior picture and letter returned to Mrs. Miller as soon as possible. What FCCLA news have we got today? Well, FCCLA members need to remember to sign up as soon as possible on Miss Lynn Scott's door for the trip to the nursing home on February 8th. And you wouldn't want to miss out on this awesome service opportunity. And if you have any questions, just go and see Miss Lynn Scott. Remember, students that wear a blue-eyed t-shirt will be admitted free into all remaining home boys and girls basketball games. And now for your upcoming dates. For upcoming dates, Tuesday, February 5th, will be FBLA di District Conference at MSU. Wednesday, February 6th, Jostens will be here at 7.45 a.m. to take sophomore class ring orders. Also that Wednesday, Academic Bowl will have a meet at Spokane. Starting Monday, February 11th through 15th, Tri Lakes Community Health Dental Clinic will be here. Tuesday, February 12th, we will have a field trip to Tour of Tech. Also that Tuesday, we will have a Bulldog Pride Assembly. And now to your birthdays. For your birthdays, we would like to wish a happy birthday to Rosa Parks, a civil rights activist who became known as the First Lady of the Civil Rights Movement, and rock singer Alice Cooper, who turns 70 today. Now to your sports. Congrats on your win, boys. Tonight, there is a girls basketball game, home versus Southwest, JV and Varsity following at 6 p.m. Tomorrow, there will be a boys basketball, home versus Southwest at 6 p.m. Thursday, February 7th, girls basketball at Galena, JV and Varsity following at 6 p.m. Friday, February 8th, boys basketball at Galena will be at 6 p.m. Saturday, February 9th, girls basketball will have an Ozark shootout. That's all for your sports. Now to Musical Monday. Now for Musical Monday. In 1952, Three O'Clock Blues, recorded by B.B. King, was released. news, the latest winter cold snap is leading to a shortage in wood pellets. Nixa Hardware sells up to 400 wood pellet stoves a year. It's also a common place for people to buy the bag of pellets they burn, but lately they can't keep them in stock. General Manager Joey Glenn says they started noticing a shortage early this month. He said there is a high demand for these, the pellets because of the harsh winter over much of the U.S. But the severe winter weather is also causing a shortage of sawdust that mills use to make the pellets. Sawdust comes from wood product manufacturers and some of them have not been operating as much because of the weather. They're limiting their customers to 10 bags at a time right now. Now to host. That's all for your news today. I've been River Raymond. And I've been Chris Lemp. This has been your news. With a Z. For your random fact of the day, hunting unicorns is illegal in Michigan. Bonus fact, Walmart has a lower acceptance rate than Harvard. You think it's hard to get into Harvard with only an 8.9% acceptance rate? Well, only 2.6% of Walmart applicants are accepted. 